never really hated on anybody that's shocking you don't think it'll happen to like anybody like you actually like know personally a teenager whose life was cut short was laid to rest today being remembered as someone with a huge heart valley news team's joshua Pagero learned more about 15 year old jonah borth and has our story from grand forks jonah borth's friends and family crowded the emmanuel lutheran church to say their final goodbyes he participated in pretty much everything and always answered the teacher's questions and stuff and talk to everyone. It was a day his friends say they never planned for. He's usually just a great guy. He's always fun to be around. You know, in class, you talk to him. He's pretty funny. Borth died Sunday, 25 miles west of Grand Forks in the town of Northwood. A freshman at Red River High School, friends and family say Borth was active in his church, the orchestra, theater, and sang in several choirs. This is as close as the church will allow us to be, and many students left during the funeral because they couldn't allow themselves to sit through it. At first, I didn't believe it, because like, I just like, it's just like a prank or something. Like, like you never think it's gonna happen, someone you know. And it was just like, I had no words. Like, he was always happy, never really mad or hated on anyone. I, don't know, I just liked him, he was a good friend. Police arrested 32-year-old Samantha Wilson Sunday, charging her with the teen's murder. Court documents say Wilson fired one round into Borth's upper chest, killing him at the scene. His father was inside the Northwood home at the time of the incident. At Borth's funeral service, the pastor spoke of his dedication to his Christian faith. If you knew Jonah at all, you knew the love he had for his family. Love returned by everyone who came out Friday to mourn his death as investigators try to figure out a motive in the killing. In Grand Forks, Joshua Pagero, Valley News Live. Samantha Wilson is being held on a $250,000 bond. Her next court date is scheduled for March 2nd.